Hey what's up everyone, welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell beside it for you to get notified whenever I upload new videos in this channel. In this video, I will show you how to use LastPass password manager app. So this is going to be a big Gary tutorial. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, if you frequently forget your password or you're having troubles on actually keeping up or basically just tracking your password, well, LastPass here is an application or a platform wherein you could store your password here securely without worrying about anyone actually uh, stealing your password. Now, using them is actually pretty easy. So first thing you need to do here is you need to open up any browser, go to lastpass.com, and from here, we want to get started. Now, in this case, we could use their free pen here, which is available to anyone. Now, in this case, go ahead and click on the Get LastPass Free at the top right here. And we just need to sign up for free. So, we need to enter our email here, as well as the master password and the confirmation for master password. So, here, we also have the reminder here if there are any reminders that you want to attach to your master password here. Now, it's really important that you enter the correct password here and a very, very strong master password here so that not anyone can actually access your account. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and enter all the necessary details. Now, as you can see right now, we have a few things that we have right now. So, a few minimum requirements for your password. So, strength meter here at maximum. So, you should have your password here at maximum strength. We also have the at least 12 characters long, one number, one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, one special character, and is not shaking though. Now in this case, make sure that you fill out all necessary details here. Now once you've created your password and created your account here, we are now ready to install the extension for it. Now in this case, click on install LastPass here to install it into Google Chrome. So let's just wait for it to load up. And from here, click on add to Chrome and add extension. Now, once it's added, we'll be able to access the extension itself. So let's just wait for it to download and install. But once it's installed, it should pop up here at the top right off your screen. Now, once installed, it's going to ask you to enter your email address as well as your master password. So go ahead and enter those details and log in. Now, once you've logged in, you're now ready to access all their information and all their features here. Now, in here, we first have to figure out what are the things that we could do here? So if uh, what is the uh, free trial that we could use here? So at the top right here, we have the premium trial user here. So if you go to account settings here, you should be able to see your account settings. If you reach about yourself like pa master password, your email type, links, language, time zone, and a lot more. Now we also have the trusted device section here if you want to add or if you have any trusted devices, mobile devices, never URLs if you want to add those, as well as multi-factor options. When in this case, multi-factor authentication, you'll be able to basically turn them on or connect it into your account here. So let's just exit this one. Now in this case, if you want to upgrade yours, just click on upgrade here and you'll be able to see the events that they have right now. So currently, we can use this for 30 days for free, but if you want to use it further, well, you could use or pay it monthly here, which is billed annually, which is $3 a month. So you'll be paying $36 here in total. But yeah, in this case, if you want to use their uh, specific uh, premium option here, go ahead and do that. But for now, let's just discuss what are the things that we do here. So first things first is we have the all items here, which in this case includes all the items that you have. Now, if you previously saved your password on a different platform or in a different uh, section, well, you could use the import mini password at once to LastPass. So if you click on that, you should be able to see this UI here. So for example, you've saved your passwords in Edge. You could choose Edge here and follow the steps for you to import your passwords. You also have the uh, option here to import your passwords from different platforms. Like for example, Keeper, Bitwarden, One Password, Dashlane, LastPass here, and a lot more. I also have somewhere else like handwritten notes, spreadsheets, or other browsers that is not included here, or any other ba password manager that you have right now. Now, in this case, like for example, you chose an edge here, you'll be able to see the steps for you to upload or export your 
pa password here into LastPass. So in this case, this are the steps for Edge here. Just follow them and you should be able to import or export your password here. Now, in this case, what are the other things that we do here? Now, we have the sharing center here, which includes your many shared folders, shared with others, shared with me. So if you want to share an item, you can go ahead and click on plus here, add shared folder. Then you should be able to add a shared folder here. Now, if you want to add, like, for example, a password that you want to manage here on LastPass, you need to go to password here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and click on add items one by one here. Just click on password here. And from here, just need to enter the URL, which is the website for that specific password, what platform it is. You have the name for this one and the folder for it. Now, I also have the username, the site password, as well as some notes just to keep track on what this website does, what the pa what is the password here, and whatnot. And we also have the advanced settings here that actually requires you to enter or your master password here to reprompt it, auto log in, and disable auto fill here. Now, in this case, you go ahead and follow that to add your passwords here manually. We also have the notes section here. In this case, you will be able to add notes. Like for example, a name here, which is a secure note. But for example, you want to keep track of some, uh, about about something. So securing, storing important notes or um, so very specific notes or really important notes is a great way for you to store here. So not only you're able to store your password here, you'll also be able to store your notes here on the platform for LastPass. Now we also have the addresses here, which in this case, you'll be able to add your addresses that are for safekeeping. So that in, just in case you forgot any specific address, you could save it here. So you just need to enter the title for that specific name, maybe Mr. Mrs. Miss Doctor, the first name, middle name, last name, username, gender, birthday, address, and company here. So in this case, you could also uh, use the advanced settings there, which is out of full language here. Acquire master password if needed. Now we also have the payment cards option here. Like if you want to save your cards for further use or future use, you could go ahead and click on it and you need to enter the name on the card, the type, number, security code, start date, expiration date, and some notes on it just to just to give you the uh, what this card is. Now in this case, you could go ahead and click on save here if you want to. Now we also have the back account section here, which is something really nice because you'll be able to add your bank here. So that includes the bank name, account type, routing number, account number, Swift code, IBAN number, pin, branch address, branch phone, and notes. Now in this case, you can go ahead and click on save if you want to add your bank accounts. Now here we have the security dashboard traits in this case gives you an idea on your security store. Now your security score here depends on how secure you are. Now how strong your passwords, how strong is your information is actually uh, being safe. Now, in this case, it's going to give an idea on the overall security of your password or your security regarding your account. Now, we also have the emergency access here, which is for premium users. Now, just in case you lose access on LastPass here, we could give emergency access to people here. Like, for example, you just need to enter an email address here and the wait time for them to actually accept this one. So, as long as they have access on uh, the uh, read access, which in this case, emergency, ac emergency access, is basically you get access into your account. So just in case you lose access on this one, you'll be able to re retrieve your information or your password by that emergency contact. So make sure that the person that you're entering here is someone really trusted because they could read your password here. Now, in this case, you also have advanced options here, even account settings and help if you need further assistance on their platform. But yeah, so this one is actually pretty easy and a really cool platform and application for storing your password and keeping your account safe. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.